Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you very much for joining me. Old Faithful Steam looks a little dirty. This is the third time that I'm trying to make this video about the increase in activity at Yellowstone. There was a 3.7 earthquake yesterday that I posted on Twitter. You really should follow me on Twitter because as breaking news comes in, it's faster to post it on Twitter than to make a video and edit it and then post it here on YouTube because YouTube sometimes takes forever to upload a video. Um, but the 3.7, they have downgraded to a magnitude 3.3. And in my opinion, we got a rush of magma coming up through the plume. The plume is about 250 miles wide and it comes all the way up from the Gulf of California. This here is a cross section showing it coming up from the Gulf of California going north to Yellowstone and you can see here the shelf where it moves towards the west. I think that's what's going on. We got the plume coming in. We have gases coming up. I've always said I wish I had the live gas readings. I got a report from someone about some bad air about a hundred miles southeast of Yellowstone. Here's another image of that magma plume coming up from the Gulf of California extending all the way up towards Canada and we got the plate motion. This here in red, the triangle, is Yellowstone and the uh, yellow is the Snake River Plateau. This earthquake actually came in closer to a magnitude 4.07. Not a 3.7 and definitely not the 3.3 that they downgraded it to. Let me make uh, Maple Creek bigger for you. There's been multiple earthquakes there and these earthquakes have been volcanic tremors. This is an image of different types of earthquakes. This comes from USGS, shallow volcanic earthquakes. Let me make that larger for you because I'm going to show you that that in fact is what's going on at Yellowstone. There was a small earthquake prior to this 4.7. That's it right there. Um, they're saying I believe it was a 2.4. There you go. Once again, this is a volcanic tremor, shallow volcanic tremor. And this is what it's showing. And it was showing earlier. The last earthquake they reported was at 1451, but they've been ongoing. This one's at 719. I believe the last time I pulled data was about 1119. See that? Volcanic tremors. This is why I wish I had live gas readings. I don't know how they got the gas readings for this area, but 100 miles about southeast is where the bad air in what they described. It was probably um, sulfuric acid. And the reason I say that, let me bring it down. Okay, it's over here. Bad air. As I did some research in this area, this lake here, they had to lower the lake level. They had to remove the dam so it doesn't hold any more than water because sulfuric acid had come up and deteriorated the cement for the dam. I'll give you a link to this article, but it says um, concrete deterioration was attributed to severe sulfuric attack, sulfuric acid. Here on Google Earth, it says, the sulfur dioxide reacts with water to form microscopic droplets or aerosol of sulfuric acid. And this was the area of the GPS um, that he gave me for the area that was getting the bad air. You can see the water along here. I believe this is um, White River, something like that. So because of the two earthquake swarms, that have been coming up with the volcanic tremors, the report of bad air. In my opinion, what we got is major magma coming up through the plume that comes up from the mantle of the earth, coming up to Yellowstone and moving across through the um, Snake River Plateau up to the area of Lima, Montana. 
creating those earthquakes. Those of you that have been following me know these are what's called like tree roots. It's an upside down tree um, for the intrusion of the magma. We got craters of the moon, hell's half acre, Shoshun, etc. In the last 24 hours there by the uh, trans chalice fault zone, there has been 18 earthquakes. The largest being probably the uh, 4.07. They uh, downgraded the 3.7 to a 3.3. The other area where we got the um, plume happening, here's the Snake River Plateau, will be up over here by the uh, Madison River area, right there. And there has now been 14 earthquakes within the last 24 hours. The largest, I believe, was a magnitude 1.4 right there. When Yellowstone had its last major eruption, now there's been 40 smaller eruptions since the last major eruption, it started up over here in the Madison River area, and it did a counterclockwise eruption, multiple eruptions moving counterclockwise, and when it got down here towards Heart Lake, that's when both resurgent domes collapsed at the same time and they had their major eruption. Now they keep saying they don't think they'll have another major eruption, but there's no guarantee of a smaller eruption. I'm going to play a tape for you, or a video for you, from Hank Hetzler. He is the geologist in-house there at Yellowstone, and he talks about how if there's a small eruption, they probably wouldn't have any warning at all. Small eruption would be about the size, they're hoping, of Mount St. Helens. One of the important aspects of the monitoring equipment is to be able to give scientists the ability to predict in advance when an eruption is going to occur. And in its simplest form, the larger the potential eruption, the more molten rock that's coming up over a greater area, the more signals that will occur, the more earthquakes that will occur, the larger the area affected, the more the ground deformation will be occurring in that area, and uh, the more there will be changes in the thermal system and gases. So the larger the eruption, the more advanced notice there will be, and the smaller the eruption, the less advanced notice. But that's the way we would hope it would be, because the smaller the eruption, the less the effect of it uh, to Yellowstone or even to smaller areas than just the park itself. Now, I did a report about the volcano there in Italy, how the ground's been getting really brittle, the earthquakes have been getting smaller and smaller, and they worry that they have a pending eruption there in Italy. Um, Yellowstone's been having the same thing going on. The ground's getting so brittle that just the slightest pressure of the magma coming up on the crust of the earth is creating more and more earthquakes. It's becoming very brittle. It's not supple. It isn't able to bend and now the uh, magma is traveling horizontally. This here is the last earthquake that USGS has reported. Um, they said at 1451 it's closer to 1452 but you can see it's volcanic tremors. They're saying that earthquake is a magnitude 1.0. It isn't. That is a magnitude 1.57. There was another one right afterwards about a minute later, they are not reporting that one. That one comes in as a magnitude 1.59, not being reported. I'll show you the seismic signature. I'll have to make it bigger for you. Yeah, volcanic tremors with harmonic tremors. All right, we've got another one afterwards marked in red. At 1545, that would have been um, at 8.45 a.m. this morning, I believe. I stand corrected, 9.45 a.m. local time. Okay, and let's look at this spectrogram, probably there. That comes in as a magnitude 1.19. We got another one bigger, which is marked in red. Let's see. That comes in as a, well, it's not bigger. That comes in as a magnitude 1.39. And let's check it out. Again, harmonic tremors. 
1719. 1119 local time, I believe. I could be off by the time my keyboard's acting up. Here we have Mary Lake for that magnitude 4.07 that they're saying is a 3.3. You can see the toxic gases that were coming up. I want to go back and show you uh, Maple Creek real quick. All right, let's go to the seismic signature. Yeah, again, volcanic tremors. All right, volcanic tremors. Magma is ascending again, volcanic tremors. All right, let me go back to Maple Creek because I want to show you this, how the magma came almost all the way up to the surface of the earth. See that? See the heat? All right, let me bring it over. We'll start there. And the toxic gases. Boy, I wish. See that? I wish I had the live gas readings. At least someone sent them to me. Um, okay, let's go there. More toxic gases. This here is West Thumb. And this is what I noticed with the popping of the ground. Getting so brittle, it's just going pow. And we'll go to the seismic signature. It came from the north. That was the area that they did a scenario, a drill for two earthquake swarms, two hydrothermal eruptions, and a tsunami. Yeah, and it points towards that direction, the north. Yeah. If I sound rushes, because I'm getting really frustrated at doing this video for the third time. This here is the borehole for Yellowstone Lake, and we got drum beats going on down here. Let me go to the seismic signature. All right, let's make that bigger. Okay, that is fault movement, tectonic. Okay, but you can see boom, 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 boom. See the little lines down there at the bottom? And this is what it was showing when I pulled the files. Now, borehole 208 is about um, 650 feet under the ground. So it does not pick up any outside noise. It is at the fishing bridge, which is at the northern end of Yellowstone Lake, where Yellowstone Lake empties out into the Yellowstone River. And let's pull this up. Yeah, look at that. Look how close that is, how high up that is. Yep, not good. This is not good. Now, I'm not saying it's going to erupt right now. If this activity continued for another three days to maybe a week, I would say um, have your bags packed in your car. Hopefully you're nowhere close to where, um, yeah, the hydrothermal eruptions could happen or a um, rush of gases come flowing down the hill. Yeah, because you couldn't outrun it. There's no way you could outrun it. You know, it could just settle down do nothing or it could increase its activity like it did there at um iceland yeah iceland was pretty active for about a week before um it had its vent eruptions look at the line of melt there now this is maple creek the madison river area what was it showing when i pulled the files not as distinct but let's see where was i We'll go up. Each line here is a half an hour. Yeah, when I seen this activity yesterday, last night, I posted it on Twitter. And luckily, um, it was there at Lima, Montana, not Yellowstone. Um, I had my time off when I posted it. Thank God someone sent me, set me right for the time. Yeah. You know who you are. Thank you very much. Yeah, my heart was beating when I seen all this stuff coming in. I mean, this is not the 3.7 or the 4.7. Let's see. This one was at 45 minutes after midnight universal time. They're saying that's a magnitude 1.4. Let me make sure I got the time right. 45 minutes after midnight. So that would have been 6.45 p.m. local time. And that is actually, let me bring this down. 
you know they're lying. A 1.60. It's probably actually a little bit larger because it blended in to the second earthquake. Yeah, 1.60. Not a magnitude 1.4. Let's see, what was the next one? Okay. We'll give them the benefit of the doubt and end it there. 1.13. They're saying that's a magnitude 0 0.7. Yeah, you know, they definitely want to decrease the world's population. Yeah, look at this heat here. All the way up almost to the crust of the earth and this is maple creek where did they say it occurred at you know what are the gas readings in that area okay let's see oh, i can't get it to clear clear off there oh my keyboard's not working okay 1.4 all right luckily i already got it right there this image evidently is from 2014 wonder why they haven't done anything new a lot of dead trees laying on the ground. Yeah, it might be time to invest in a new keyboard. I tell you, if it's not one thing, it's another. So what are your thoughts? Yeah, are you prepared? Do you have a link where I could get the live gas readings? Please send them to me. Um, yeah, always be prepared for a disaster. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Like I said, I can put things faster there on Twitter than on YouTube. YouTube sometimes takes ha a half an hour, an hour before they uh, post it. And as always, please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.